Hello and welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah Scully. Today I wanted to share with you uh, a little holiday tradition that is maybe slightly unusual, um, but one I've been having fun preparing for the last couple of years, and that is wearing silly hats on the day that we open our gifts. So, um, of course, I love knitting and I love any excuse. And a couple of years ago was lamenting that I only had these sort of cheesy um, polyester Santa hats um, for folks to wear and I uh, got the idea to make some handmade uh, hats for people to wear, uh, people in my family to wear. So um, I started with this, this one and it's a, a replica of a traditional Santa hat. Um, this is Rick's and this pattern is called the Two Hour Santa Hat by Wendy Dunlap. Um, or I should say mine is based on her pattern and I'll link to that in the show notes. Um, I did do a couple of modifications for this one to fit my yarn and my needles. So um, I used 78 stitches, um, which is a little bit more than the pattern calls for. Um, but that fits an adult, um, a large adult head pretty well. And knit this on size 10 needles. Um, and I used the Knit Picks Wool of the Andes um, wool, which is a nice, you know, it's 100% wool, but it's nice and affordable. Um, the other mods I made to this were that I included a folded over brim. So you, you can see the row of purl stitches here um, that makes a natural fold and that makes a nice thick cushy brim that stands out from the body of the hat when you have it on. Um, like this. And then the other thing I did was, actually this should go this way. I added this oversized pom-pom because -pom, um, I just thought, you know, that looked pretty fun to have a larger a larger pom-pom. Um, so it's a little cartoony almost, but it's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so the clover, the extra large size of pom-pom maker will make a pom-pom that big. It's about five inch diameter. Um, so yeah, this hat's a little large on me, but it fits Rick really well. Um, so that's the first one. You could size that up or down by a few inches and make more for um, matching for everybody in your family. Um, for me though, I wanted something a little different, so I made this um, with the two kind of Santa, cabled Santa pom-pom things coming off of it, or cabled ears, I guess. Um, and this hat, is called Santa Bangy. Um, it's by Denise Bine Kroll. And again, I'll link, link to her pattern on the website um, or on Ravelry. Um, let's see, modifications. I went up to a size eight on this one, uh, size eight needles. And again, enlarged the pom pom. She has really small pom poms on her example, but I, I think they're better when they have a little weight to them and they, they have nice movement. Um, this design was inspired by the show The Big Bang Theory, um, and there's a character there called Penny, and she sometimes dresses a little eccentrically. Um, this was a hat that was featured a couple of years ago, and a bunch of people on Ravelry um, were very excited and trying to figure out how to recreate it. Um, and I think this version gets the closest to, to what the original um, looked like. I'm sure the original was not hand-knitted. Um, so, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I get a lot of compliments on it too. Um, and then the last hat is this one, um, which looks like the Christmas tree. And um, this is an adaptation of a hat that my friend Amy um, put up online, adapted from a smaller version that's for a baby. Um, Amy's a very skilled knitter. She enters the Tunbridge Fair every year, often wins a uh, top prize for her knitting and so she was able to easily adapt that pattern for an adult size. Um, what I like about this is that you could put any kind of decoration on it that you want. Obviously I have these little kind of pom-pom ornaments, but uh, you could use something like gold uh, ribbon or you know almost any other th kind of thing and get really creative and decorate. I've been thinking about adding some decorations to this to jazz it up a little bit this year, so we'll see if I come up with something. Um, you could even knit little tiny individual ornaments if you were really inspired and put them all over the tree. So um, anyway, this was the one that my mother wears, and this hat's perfect size for her. She has kind of a small adult head, 
So the cast on for this I think is 72 stitches on a size 7 or 6 needle and that fit her well. It's a little tight on me um, but you could play around with the, with the sizing just a bit if you needed to. So I'll link to all of these patterns in the show notes for this episode but I do encourage you um, to get out there and make some funny hats for the holidays if they're um, you know, if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's totally cool. I've seen Hanukkah inspired ones. I've seen ones that look like roast chicken. I've seen all kinds of fun hats that you could make um, for holiday times. I've seen ones that look like a three-tiered cake. So, you know, whatever you're into um, for the holidays, make a hat and celebrate that thing. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>